Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Oh, look at this. Just as we come out of the entrance tunnel here. Honestly, I could stand here for like just five, ten minutes. Just soaking this in. It looks real. It genuinely looks real. When I put the photo of the thumbnail in my Discord and was asking for people's opinions, what did people think? A couple of them actually thought it was a real screenshot. And only when somebody said, is that actually in-game? I was like, yeah, it's an in-game shot. They were like, no. It, it just so authentic. But yeah, this is Silex's fourth park. Fifth park, but the fourth we've spotlighted on the channel. I never actually spotlighted his first park, which was called The Cube. I never actually spotlighted that one, but I've spotlighted all the others. So there was Royston Valley, which was an Area 1 uh, inspired park with all aliens and invasion and all things like that. Then we had the Crystal Eye, which was touring the seabed. Absolutely sensational park. It was so good. And then the last park was the New World, which was the post-apocalyptic almost fallout style park but this time we've got an egyptian park and look at that pyramid it's so authentic just all the different lights that you can see bouncing off even from this kind of distance you can see that it's not been copied and pasted even from far away just because of the way that the light reflects off it like all the different levels and textures of the brick and everything just looks amazing but well, anyway, let's carry on walking down here. So we've just got a couple of flags just down here. And this is a last-gen park. Every park that we've spotlighted by Silex has been a last-gen park. Imagine what this guy is going to do when he gets a PS5. Now, if this is your first time experiencing a Silex park, I highly, highly, highly recommend going back and checking out his others. There will be links for all previous spotlights of his down below i really strongly urge you go and watch them because they are amazing if you like this one you will like them the guy is just an absolute genius at this game so yeah you need to go and watch them well, nice little building just here We come around here and then we've got the bus tour that actually takes you up to the pyramid. We've got all the very strict, tight security, what you would expect to find in Egypt as well. We've got the ENP, the Egyptian National Police, over here. I'm not sure if that's an official thing. Is that their technical term, the e ENP? I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure on that one. But all very stringent security, as you would expect as well. Now, whilst we won't actually jump on the bus, what we will do is we're actually just going to follow the path that the bus takes and go up towards the pyramid. It feels so authentic and true to life. Even though I've never been to Egypt, I can't say that I'm speaking from experience because I've never been to Egypt, but from what I've seen on the telly, it looks quite accurate. From films, I've seen The Mummy. Right. Just all the terrain forming is just so well done. This is making me want to go and play Assassin's Creed Origins or something. A look at this shot as you come around here. So that kind of just from kind of like gas level inside the bus and you're just coming around this corner. And you get to see the pyramid as you come around. I look at that. That's absolutely insane. It would have been so easy of you to just copy and paste. Take the easy route. Or route if you're American. I've never understood that. It's a route, guys. It's a route. But, yeah, even... I mean, just look at it. Not copied and pasted. All individually placed. All different levels. All spun around. You've got all the bits like kind of started crumbling as well. 
as I was saying, just so authentic for what it should be. Just absolutely incredible. But anyway, we'll uh, hop off the bus tour. So, just hop out just here. And we come out, just get a drink of water. Get one for you and your camel. Got some shops just here. Got all these guests and you got this one little bench here. They all have to share. All these thousands of people have to share that one bench. Be fine. Right, and let's walk down to the actual ride. So very much like Silex's last parks as well. It is just the one coaster as well. Pyramid of Curfew. The Alabaster. Just a street vendor just here. The Pyramidon. I'm not sure if I've said that right or not. Nice little structure here as well. Looks quite worn as well, just as the centuries have gone on. Looks really, again, authentic. I keep coming back to that same word. Authentic, genuine. Which is exactly what you want when you're doing a build such as this. You don't want it looking all new and fresh. It would just completely defeat the purpose. Even the way that you've got the rock here looks kind of like quite dirty and stained. Like it's been there for thousands of years. But anyway... We come down to the Eye of Horus. Now, pre-warning, this ride is about 20 minutes long. So, make sure you get yourselves comfortable. Turn up your sound. Sit back and enjoy one of Silex's incredible experience coasters. I will see you on the other end. Enjoy, everybody.
where do you even begin to give feedback and thoughts on an experience such as that? It's just absolutely out of this world. For me to sit here and say, that's better than the last one, or this is the best one that you've done yet, I don't think that would be fair, because they all offer such unique experiences. They all differ in very, very unique and original ways. And they're all equally as good as each other. But you just continue to blow me away, Silex. Every single time I see you release something, I get excited. And... I, I have said that my spotlight list is quite long, but then there are certain times when I will pull a video forward if I'm really excited for it. And this is one of them parks. This has only just been released and within pretty much a week or two of it being released, I'm filming it and getting it out because I just know how much I will love one of your parks. You are truly an inspiration on this game. Just incredible, mate. Absolutely incredible. I can't say any more than that now shall we have a quick look around at just some of the things just here we've got some just decorations a lot of this you actually have a look around just as you come around the ride as well so but there's just things to look at everywhere all the way around we've got the cars that were somewhere i'm not even sure where they were they're around here somewhere might have been thin around there or something and look at this sphinx that you've done just using basic shapes. Is that what they're called? The uh, the cat statues, the sphinxes. I believe so. That's just done using basic... Uh, not basic shapes, terrain forming. I'm sorry. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Then you've got all the ruins down here as well. I'm just blown away by the entire thing. If I'm honest, I think it's... I think it's amazing, Silex. And we've just got that down here, and obviously the ride just comes out here and then goes up there as well. And there's even a little bit just up here as well that you can get inside. No, you can't. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Now, there is some hidden treasure in this park. But I don't want to show you where it is. Because I want you guys to be able to go and find it yourselves. So, I'm just going to show you the treasure, but not where it is. So, here we have one of the hidden chambers. Just with all the Planko Tycoons. Just all around here as well. This is not an easy place to find at all. But loads of names around here that you'll recognise. you got me just there as well thank you ever so much and then there was also so we have some treasure here so the gold and silver it's just all hidden away back there as well but there is also one more hidden chamber quite close to this area as well in this other little hidden chamber here so what we need to do is we just need to delete some of these it says here, activate the bag of the gods. And we'll activate this. The most valuable... Oh! Camera. The most valuable treasure is neither gold nor silver. You carry it between your eyes all the time. The Eye of Horus. Wow. Brilliant. So there we have the Eye of Horus. I've probably been, been saying that wrong the entire spotlight. I'm very sorry. You've probably all been cringing. Matty, learn to talk properly. But I just, I love it. Absolutely love it. Once again, Silex, you just blow my mind, mate. Every time I see one of your creations, you continue to blow me away. You've taken us like on mind-bending experiences around Area 51. You've taken us to the very depths of the ocean floor. You've made me feel like kind of the world has ended and now you've taken me around Egypt. Where next? 
What is going to be your next experience park coaster? I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what you provide next. And the day you get a PS5, what you're going to be creating then is just uh, beggar's belief. But thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it does really help me out. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this park as well. The more comments, the more it helps the video. It just helps that lovely little algorithm and helps the video to get pushed out there more. But thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I will see you all soon for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and see you in a couple of days. Bye, everybody.